think. Let me check. Let me just, let me just check. Okay, so we are. All right, we're back with the roadcast. Me and Adam are on the road today. We got some meetings in southern Oklahoma. Yes, we do. We are uh, headed to Davis, Oklahoma first. And then Sulphur, Oklahoma. Second stinkiest town in Oklahoma. Yeah. Behind Valiant. Valiant. Yeah, big paper mill and yeah. Valiant that makes it smell. I have never like experienced that. Absolute butthole. It's just butt. Oh, it's so bad. Just butt. So bad. Essence of butt. So bad. Yeah, it smells so bad. Yeah. Uh, and then where do we end up at? Old PV. The old former weed shop. Yeah. The old grow. The old former marijuana grow. Yeah. Uh, so the Oklahoma market became so saturated. Still is. No, 100%. Still is saturated. Anyway, we're looking at a building for another little side project. We won't even get into all Another that adventure. Yet. Another wonderful adventure. Uh, yeah. From Full Strut Media and Extreme, Extreme Mailboxes. Mailboxes LLC. <laughs> <laughs> we actually own Extreme Mailboxes LLC. Is that correct? No, we have, yes, it is registered with we, the state of Oklahoma, with the, with the uh, registrar. It is. The official. Yeah, we're we officially extreme with an X. Yeah, extreme. Extreme mailbox. Mailboxes LLC. And uh, we came up with that name because what's better than mailbox money? Nothing. That's not a, a thing. We haven't we haven't figured out the logo. We we need to make the logo, which we figured was just going to be an open mailbox, and there's going to be money pouring out the front of it. And so then people will be like, what's what's the point of this? Like they see the logo and they go, oh, I get it. That's right, mailbox money. Because that's the goal in life. It's just mailbox money. Mailbox money. You know, that's that's what you want. I know people that do very, very well off mailbox money. Yeah. <laughs> that is the truth. The Miller Ranch. All right, my, my, my good friends, uh, the Valentine family uh, that operate the Miller Ranch in West Texas. All right, it's a big ranch, you know, 70, 60, 70, 80,000 acres. I don't know. We've been there. Lots, lots of acres. Lots of acreage. Uh, they have over 100 wind turbines on their range. That'll do it. Each turbine per, uh, will pay you uh, $10,000 to $12,000 a year. Yep, that'll do it. There's at least a mil over a million dollars in mailbox money. And yeah. then they put in a solar plant. I so know just, that. Yeah, they've got a whole deal that's just solar. Wow. wow on the range so like they're killing it man i mean they're making seven figures mailbox you got, money you got the land you got the land you got the, got the I ability i know uh so anyway but yeah we, we we've got some other adventures and things we're we're always working and scheming on and uh we haven't hung out much though lately not a lot it's been few and far between we got all kinds of things going on just kids kids and family stuff uh between that and hunting season starting, it's all yeah. it's all here. I just got back from Wyoming, which was a absolute blessing debacle <laughs> of a trip. Um, so I was supposed to fly from Oklahoma City to Denver, Denver to Gillette, and uh, be land in Gillette at 9:50. Going up to hunt with AA Outfitters, uh, my buddy Trey up there, top-notch operation. We're gonna fly in. He's got something. He's got it lined up. We can be picked up at the airport. You know, no big deal, right? Super excited about it. Take off. I only slept three hours. Just, mm -hmm. You know, just while well, you packing, uh, gonna go get on a plane. Yeah, man, I'm gonna sleep on the airplane. No big deal. I mean, before we are two thousand feet off the ground, your boy here's asleep. Just gone. headphones in. You know, I'm out cold. What's that like? I can sleep anywhere. Dude. What is that like? I can sleep anywhere. I hate people like that. Just if you can fall asleep just when you want to, you have no idea what you have. It's beautiful. You have no idea what I sleep, you have. I sleep. I sleep so good. And even like when, though, the other night I did. You know, just I didn't sleep well. Uh, stuff going on. I didn't sleep very good. Just my mind, you know, will get me racing. R rarely, I'll have some things going on, and I'll. My That's mind my will life. Get me. I know That's it's your life. life. I know it's your life, but it's not mine usually. I can even sleep <laughs> about anything. Um, anyway, so I uh, I 
take off. We're about 45 minutes into the flight, and they come on and are like, we have to turn around and go back to Oklahoma City because we have a mechanical failure on the plane. Which is not concerning flight. at all. What? And so we turn around, and not only we turn around, we turn around and just fall out of the sky, and we are so low that my my phone has three bars of 5G. <laughs> That's how low the ground I am. Right? Yeah. And so I start texting. I text my buddy Philip, who works at the airport. Hold on. This uh, episode is sponsored by Burlington North BNSF Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> How in the world? What are the odds of that? That's pretty funny. That is hilarious. That's pretty funny. Uh, choo choo. Uh huh. Okay, so they're text- literally everywhere. <laughs> they they know when we're recording. They do, man. <laughs> they do. So you text Phil. Well, they gotta get they gotta get their money out. They gotta get their money out of their money. You know. <laughs> oh, anyway, man. so I text my buddy Philip. Okay, hold. On. For those of you who are listening to the podcast right now, we just passed on the highway. A Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad pickup truck. Good, good call. Yeah. yeah good so call. just so you know, so you know, like, what are they talking you know, about? Yeah, yeah, they got the they got the wheels they can pop down and drive on the train tracks too. But anyway, yeah, we just how did that just yeah that, that was, just no matter what they're always there. They're everywhere. Okay, back to your regular scheduled event. Yeah. You texted Philip. I texted my buddy Philip. Works for the Air Force, Na- Air National Guard, and he's stationed at Will Rogers. And I'm like, hey man this is what's happening and I was like we're super low like I'm texting you from I'm 40 minutes from Oklahoma City I'm texting you right now and he was like whoa you're low he goes well it has to be like a cabin pressure issue uh if they got too high maybe they freeze you out well we didn't have or there it wasn't it wasn't maintaining itself the cabin pressure so we were going to lose oxygen neat and so he was, you know, we've talked about it since, but like, so the climb into Denver, you're losing, because I'm, I'm, we're gaining altitude, right? Yeah. The whole time, uh, there's less oxygen. So we're flying so low because we have an oxygen issue. And he was like, hey, if those little solo cups fall out of the ceiling, it's every man for himself. What? And I'm like, bro, <laughs> what? this is not funny. <laughs> every not man funny. for him. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, I guess I just killed the guy next to me and took his oxygen too. I guess, you know, he wasn't very big. He was a DJ from Denver. Yeah, was here at, like in Oklahoma City working at a nightclub. So I could have definitely taken. If I ever lose a fight to a DJ, <laughs> just <laughs> you, you have permission to just put me down. Just take me and let me walk into a field. Oh yeah, I watched a video the other day of a road rage incident. All right, since I'm driving and there's a tendency for me to get. What are you talking about? A little hot sometimes in <laughs> traffic. It's okay. We only do it in the wrapped pickup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been tweeted at. I've been tweeted at. <laughs> People be like, you're driving. Sucks. <laughs> and I'm like, I uh, know. Uh, <laughs> And so there's been people that have sat in that seat right there fearful for their life. Uh-huh. Like, hang on. Like, uh, like visually and verbally upset about my driving and the only thing I can say is but did you die? Mm-hmm. You didn't. Alright? So you you're didn't welcome. die. <laughs> Suck it up buttercup. Okay? <laughs> you're, you're alive. You're Alright? But anyway I'm watching this video of a uh, incident. Alright? And it's this kind of pickup and a PT Cruiser. Okay? What a and man. The, the pickup's trying to get around the PT Cruiser and it keeps cutting him off like going to the yeah. shoulder. Well, they get to a red light and the guy gets out of his pickup and he walks over to the PT Cruiser who has his window down. He just starts punching the guy in the PT Cruiser through his window. Really? Just starts wailing on just him. Just wailing on him. And the guy walks back towards his pickup. Well, the guy in the PT Cruiser gets out and, I mean, pummels the guy in the pickup. Really? Beats him up, leaves him laying on the ground, gets back in his PT Cruiser and drives off. Adam, if someone driving a PT Cruiser, a PT Cruiser, whoops my butt, there's another opportunity for you to just shoot me and put me down. Just pull your gun out and just, just do it. Away. Just do it. Put me down. All right. Well, it's uh, been a substantial amount of time since our meetings. Yeah. It's been uh, about uh, approximately seven hours. Has it really? Yes. 
know, seven hours ago we started this podcast. Mm-hmm. God, could you imagine this podcast was seven hours long? Oh, it would be brutal. You just put a gun in your mouth. Yeah. Just end it. It's just over. Be, just be just done. done. Listen to me and you. Well, a lot of people that need it might enjoy it, but that's a lot of need. You know who I did get a phone call from today that I didn't, I wasn't able to answer because we were in meetings? Uh-uh. Cliff. You did? I got a phone call from Cliff. Oh, Cliff lied to call me. Oh, boy. Yeah. Good Dropping times. off his next load of raccoons. Oh, whatever. the raccoon meat. Boop. So I, I ate at that, uh, that hibachi and in Weatherford. And Weatherford with Brett. Last time I was, I went out to Western Oklahoma. That's good stuff. I like no, it. No, but I did at one point. I, I that crossed my mind. And, and you kind of just and, lost your appetite. I, I did, man. <laughs> and gaggy, like I had that. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, got a little gamey. Got a little, it did have a little gamey flavor, and I thought, I am eating a nasty pig that's been sitting in the sun for three days. Mm, trash panda. In Lake Wales, Florida. Trash panda. This, this, this is from Lake Wales, Florida. Eesh. This meat right here. Oh, gosh. Trash panda. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't remember what we were talking about. You we were talking about my house burning down, and uh, despite our circumstances, we're set on giving the Lord glory and that the show was that's what the show was about this week and this week's episode with with, with you uh, kind of giving that testimony in it man we've had such good feedback I just got a text from a buddy that I haven't talked to in a long time that just said man just saw this week's episode and said if that doesn't touch people and reach people for Jesus I don't know what will there you go that's all that's all I care about that's it man that's all we care about yeah yeah, exactly. So, yeah, uh, it's a good one. Um, you can catch that on Pursuit. Uh, but, you know, by the time this comes out, it is already aired. So you can go to our YouTube yeah. uh, channel and check that out. Uh, it's just powerful. And, and I think people, too, like, will see when they watch it, like, you are legit filming even inside your home as it's burning. Would you just kind of talk <laughs> about why? Because, I mean... I feel because it's incredible that like you run into your living room and your back door dining room is engulfed, and then you go down and, you, and people like you went around to, towards the master bedroom and there was the mud room, and so your laundry room is on fire. Just explain like the thought process of I'm running into my house filming as I'm doing it. Even like I've thought to myself because it seems a little bit like psychotic. Yes. Like, I've, I've thought to myself multiple times, that shot when I'm outside. And you're going, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. That, that shot right there, it's like, what possessed me in that moment to pull my camera out and film that? And I've thought through it. I've thought through it. I've thought through it. And thought, besides the psychology that we talked about before, you know, where when you're, when you're in your most deepened sense of panic, you kind of revert to what you know, right? and I kind of reverted back to, like, I got my camera out. And I mean, that's the last thing I'm thinking in the moment is like, man, this would make a great YouTube video, <laughs> you know? Uh, but <laughs> My house is going up. Maybe I can make 48 bucks off Yeah, it. maybe I could do this. And so, like, yeah. I think I think it's part insurance. Like, my, my the, the lawyer, my father being the dad of the, my lawyer father in my brain okay. going, you know, take pictures, you know, but that was in there. But then it's, I think there also was some of that, you know, you revert to what you're most comfortable with. But then, I mean, I look back at it and, like, divine appointment. Like, God knew what he was doing in that moment and how he created me and how he even wove that together. You yeah, know? so even the aspect that you are a, I mean, video is your life. Yeah, like, even that. The creation of video. It, even it that part. It, it just, even, like, that's one of those things that even now, like, going back to, I don't fully understand that. Um, I do know when I went in that last time and filmed, my thought process was I want to make sure I capture everything in the house beforehand in case there is some kind of insurance nightmare. Um, Did it help? Oh, yeah. No, it immensely helped. Being able to, like, freeze frame it and go, okay, you know, there's our plates. There's the, you know, know, stuff like that uh, that we didn't have receipts for. You know, that was the other benefit is, you know, most of the stuff in the house was relatively new from when we sold everything before we built the house and then we i mean all we had was that one storage unit full of stuff 
everything else was we just bought and saved the money from when we made that original purchase or when we sold it we bought the stuff so but it's just uh even even that looking back on it now in the hindsight goes like man you preserved god preserved those moments to be able to help facilitate in the telling of the story that we didn't even think about at the time right like just just like the deeper into the rabbit hole you go the more you begin to really see and the more it really begins to unravel and go wow like that i didn't even think about that like i didn't even think about that oh and then that i didn't even think about like it just kind of uh. it continues to unfold that's what i said you know a few weeks back it's like it's on our that podcast like it just can, it's still coming into focus yeah so. like just seeing the full hand of god in the midst of it oh yeah it all still kind of comes together but mm. but yeah no it's just regular old psychopath stuff for filming here because it's incredible and i remember uh you have that one shot in your house where it's kind of like this at night and you pan and it's kind of yeah. rekindling and when it's it was, burning when it was burning again for the second time <laughs> when, when it went back up for the second time yeah uh thank you fire department anyway yeah. um side note side note we didn't get her put out good um anyway that shot i thought what did sunny what was sunny's comment it your sunny's horrific horribly beautiful it is horribly beautiful and that is such a great blanket statement what a great it's my life uh-huh horribly beautiful horribly beautiful my life is horribly beautiful that's a good word for it and it's um, well, it makes me think of uh the uh see what i mean <laughs> You just dropped your phone down in the, the abyss. It's gone. The crack. It's not even worth trying to go yeah, get it now. Just go buy a new phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Upgrade. <laughs> that 14 just come out. Yeah. And so there's I, the uh, whole uh, storing uh, treasures in clay pots. Uh-huh. No, like he, the fact that God uses these broken vessels to tell his stories is is interesting. No, for sure. It's it's interesting and it's horribly beautiful. Well, that shot was just so. Uh, it was. It was pretty. Uh, from a from like a videography standpoint, like it's this beautiful, like natural. I mean, it felt like I'm in a Quentin Tarantino film. Mm-hmm. You know, like it just didn't feel. I mean, it, it was just. Speaking incredible. of a horror story, this is your nightmare. Look at all those birds, Brad. There's got to be 10,000 birds sitting in this field right now. I don't know. Somewhere. There it is. There she is. There she is. I can't get close. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of birds, and I'm going to put my back to them. Yeah. So I don't have to think about them mm-hmm. being, uh, that close to me. Uh, but, no, it's absolutely just this beautiful shot. And, um, you know, once again, the mindset of why you would film it or whatever. Um you know, I, th- I felt like you just kind of needed to explain a little bit because it does. I mean, no, yeah. it's. I don't think a normal person Mm-mm. would just be like, "Oh, I'm going to pull my phone out. and I'm going to film Mm-mm. my house burning down." No, Which you I did. I, I, I can't explain it. But it it turned out, and if you'll watch the episode, yeah, it turns out to be incredible. Mm-hmm. Like it's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, aspect of it. Oh, no, it's it's. I still can't. I still to this day can't fully explain it other than I mean God had a plan and even in what he what he created me to do before this it all just kind of everything worked out yeah it's just it's just crazy yeah well just to see God's full plan in it Mm -hmm. you know what I mean and how that episode's title beauty for ashes I mean that's another example of God making beauty out of ashes that he that he wired you the way that he did Mm mm-hmm that your reaction was, I got to film this, mm-hmm. you know, and the fact that you did film it. And there's even a scene in there too, where you guys are watering your building, like mm-hmm. your, your metal building where your office is. When the 308 ammo is going off. Yeah. 308 ammo is going off in the background, but you guys are watering that. Mm-hmm. And that's because it was heating and it was glistening. Yeah. The metal starting to shine as the, as the, the heat, heat and, and you, your buddy, it's a firefighter. Our neighbor. Yeah, your neighbor. And he told you how long did you have, probably? He said five more minutes, and it would have been it done. 
It would have caught fire. Said that he said that metal got so hot the inside that foam on the inside would have took. That's just just, just crazy. Incredible. I mean, it's so much craziness. Yeah, with all of that. So, well, once again, guys, just in the business of, of making beauty out of ashes. It's what he does, and mm -hmm. uh, and 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 our and I know your prayer, my prayer for that entire situation is that God will use that to glorify His name. Mm -hmm. And, and I believe that's going to happen. I believe this is one of the most powerful episodes we've ever put together. Um, so uh, appreciate you, appreciate your house burning down. Appreciate you filling your house burn. Yeah. Uh, no, it's. I think it's one of the most powerful episodes that we've ever done. It, it's it's good. I, I think, I think, uh, like you said, I just want to. The 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 thing that's awesome about it is just hearing the responses of people. Yeah, those uh, things are the things that like makes it worth it. Yeah, makes it makes it worth it, and it makes when I wake up at two, three, four, five, and six with Addie screaming in my face in the bunkhouse, the two bedroom bunkhouse, it makes it worth it. And then I also think, well, oh, I'm not having to move to Edmond. Like it's always this continual rabbit hole. What's wrong with Edmond? Nothing other than it's just Edmond. You live in Guthrie anyway. I do not. You live in Guthrie. I live seven miles from Guthrie. When I when I type in your address... Yeah, I like you do that. What does it say? I'm not telling that on the podcast. I don't want some psychopaths oh, showing up to my house. What is the city that you reside in based upon it your address? It says Guthrie, but I can yes. literally throw a rock, Uncle Rico, <laughs> and be... <laughs> Over the mountains? Uh, uh, literally across the street, and it's an Edmond address. It is. It is true. I live way closer to downtown Edmond than I do downtown Guthrie. You do? Way closer. You do? Like three miles closer you do so anyway it's so lessons learned today on today's roadcast number one if you get up if you get beat up by a guy on a pt cruiser you should go ahead and just put <laughs> just yourself can't down. just end it just put yourself down just a lot of things today have caused right. you to realize that if you have reached this point you should just end it if a guy on a pt cruiser puts you down knocks you out you should just just go get the lethal injection just done just do it You've reached the bottom of the barrel. What else have we learned today? We've also learned that if the cups fall out of the top of the plane, it's every man for himself. That is true. Cups fall out, it's every man for himself. That uh, oxygen is precious. Landing. Yes, oxygen is apparently very precious. If you don't have it, uh, they will fly very low and you'll have full yes. service on your cell phone. Yes. And I bet Brad has uh, maybe five people that he texted because yeah. he felt like they actually did Brad love. only has five the, friends. The people that got a text from me that I... Uh, may not live all right it's because i know that at one point you loved me <laughs> and you cared about me so if you got a text that's a big deal uh because there's only about five of you you're on the inner circle <laughs> and you're way in the inner circle uh what else have we learned today we've learned that we have had a lot of meetings today we have don't, we had three meetings and one of them was about three hours yeah don't schedule three meetings in one day it becomes too fun especially when the three meetings are in three different towns Oh yeah, no, that was that, that was, was definitely not, that was an issue too. Definitely, you do what you got to do. No, it was, but it was all good. They were all good meetings. Business. They were all good meetings. But we were able to recap that episode, and that's really what I wanted to do today. Mm -hmm. Was just to recap it, and so we'll link that in, uh -huh. so you can click on it and watch it. Uh, if you're listening, uh, you know, make sure you go and find us uh, on uh, YouTube so you can watch that episode. It's incredible. Adam, how do people get a hold of? I saw you had a new uh, video out. I did put a new video I out. I did. You got, just, a, you got a foundation. We've got put our fo footings in, our foundation, un underground plumbing. Now we're just waiting on a lumber pack, which is fun. Mm. Lumber is fun right it's, now. It's really cheap. It's really cheap, and especially when you need a truss made, that is also... It told me it was like maybe two weeks to get those today think, on the phone. You think maybe I could do it? Probably. I'm really handy. <laughs> Why is your house crooked? That's an artistic thing. Because Brad is involved. That's an artistic... You give Brad a hammer. <laughs> and he will hit all ten fingers. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'm not, I'm not good at that stuff. Oh, man. Uh, how about people get hold of you? Buddy? You can see people. us on our YouTube channel. It's called Hurley Films. H-E-A-R-L-Y-F-I-L-M-S. Come out with videos. Just keeping the house update going. Things that are happening in life. So, just kind of a vlog. You know, I think what happened was that you did those and then when you built your house you quit doing it and God was angry and so he said that's, we're going to yeah. burn your house that's you can make more YouTube we want you videos. back on YouTube the Lord wanted you back 
It's like, I can't see. I need to watch. Watch your life That's updates. Right. That's right. You guys are like, I don't have time to sit and watch everybody. I yeah. got to go back at night and watch YouTube. <laughs> Get caught up on what you're doing. <laughs> Uh, I realize I'm omnipresent, but that so, doesn't mean I'm omnifocused. You know what I mean? <laughs> so much heresy right now. <laughs> uh, you can find Final Descent Outdoors uh, on uh, social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at either Final Descent Outdoors or FD Outdoors. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Uh, anyway, uh, I like that backpack, though. It's yeah. pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, obviously, our YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, you can go to our website as well, finaldescentoutdoors.com. Uh, order some of that Final Descent merch. Support the support the brand, all that good stuff. Get yourself a China Pearl shirt. Oh, man. Now that we've talked about it well, on this episode. Yeah, we to China Pearl back up. Well, all right, Adam. Appreciate you. Now I get to drive to Wellston. You get, you get, I get to go to Mustang and watch yeah. my daughter play soccer. Here's where we split. Yep, at the Riverwind Casino. At the Riverwind Casino parking hey, lot. Hey, how much money you got on you? Hey, they got free ice cream in there. Not that that would do you any good. Mm, I do not feel like pooping my pants. <laughs> just open your mouth under the soft serve and it'll just go right it would, like a it, bullet train. It just, just, <laughs> there would be no... Speaking of trains, this is the BNSF sign-off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Burlington Northern Santa Fe sign-off today. But, no, that, what the issue with uh, soft serve ice cream is it comes in at soft serve and it also exits <laughs> as such. So, uh, a little bit. <laughs> it's not good. I have no business oh, gosh. Uh, doing straight dairy like ice cream. You know how long it's been since I ate ice cream? That's too long. You need a dairy coating today. Dude, I can't. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'll sit here and say, okay, I'm in and I'll do it. And then at 1 a.m. tonight, I'll be sitting there going, I will never do that again. <laughs> well, you need your quarterly reminder of what it was. There's a Sonic right there. I know. I see That's it. got a, a large I can't, cookies I'm on and a cream shake. I'm on a diet. Yes, you are. And I've done really well. I've lost 17 pounds. Yeah, well, I, we, you drink that shake, would make it 19. Yeah, well, right, right there. Like I'd that. clean me up. There's no time for that sugar to even settle in your body. It's just like taking a laxative. Guys, thanks so much for watching and listening to today's podcast, Roadcast. Yeah, hopefully this has all been recorded. We never know until we flip the camera Yeah, they, we're just using a phone, so it's flipped. So, it's good uh, stuff. What do you think? Cross your fingers. We'll find out right now. All right.